Good day, friends. Bill McCabe here, and today I'm being assisted by Sensei Terry Stewart. We're at the tail end of a Saturday class here in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, we're working on some energy techniques, and I'm just going to photo document some of these things today, uh, just so you see how many different ways there are for energy to manifest. Now, this borders on what is common in the internal arts. So in, in a way, you might think of this as, as starting to drift into Bangua or, or Tai Chi Chuan or Xing Yi. But think of it how you will. Uh, uh, there's a practical science here, too, that's underneath all of this. And that's how we're going to relate it to you. So for practice purposes, we're going to set up a control dynamic. And bring the camera a little bit closer, if you will. The control dynamic is going to be along these lines. Somebody grabs my two hands. And the energy that I'm going to work with today is what I call rotating or coiling energy, or, or even screwing energy, if you will. But, but whenever I say screwing energy, everyone starts to giggle you know, in class. So I, I try to avoid saying that. But we'll talk about coiling energy. And the coiling energy looks like this. Uh, the attacker uh, locks onto my hands, and I coil. Okay, and that's a very subtle energy, see it? And I'm doing it, you know, by relaxing. See, if I do it in a really big way, nothing happens. She can resist it. And if I do it with muscle, she can read my thought. But I'm relaxing into it. And because I'm so relaxed, I'm able to move her. And it looks something like this, what I'm doing in this particular sequence. It's sort of like this. I'm just coiling one direction the other direction, but I'm doing it invisibly. It's just about that big. And because she's trying to control me, this little energy is magnified through the leverage of her body, causing her force to bounce back into herself and, and to spin her around. So she grabs, and I, I move. You can see how quick it is. She grabs, I move. But you don't see my hands doing hardly anything. See it? Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now I'm going to show you just a couple, couple quick alternatives here so that uh, you have a, a path of uh, research and exploration for yourself. To be able to do this stuff takes, takes a bit of time and a bit of practice and a few years of softening yourself down so that you're able to, to, to understand and transmit these forces. But but seeing it and having someone lay it out is something that's very rare. So I'm happy to share it with you, at least to get you started in your own exploration. OK, now, we're rotating opposite directions here. And that was the first sequence. Release, if you will. The first sequence, I was rotating opposite directions. I'm going to show you something here where I'm rotating so that both palms come up. What's important here is, is noting the position that her elbows take relative to her body. See, this is a lock position. When, when her elbows go upside down and up into her torso, they become like levers that you can use to propel her or, or him, whoever's attacking you, off to the background. So for example, she goes back, she grabs me more quickly, I rotate and I fire. And you can see that, that my energy is like a harpoon literally cutting her in half. She's here, in, I fire. See how that works? If I do it with one hand, in, sit, in, and I up the energy a little bit by a system. This is called G. You combine two forces into a third vector that shoots horizontally into space. I'll show you that one more time. Now, she could do it to me, too. You know, It's not just me doing it against somebody who's smaller than me. I'm, of course, I'm the guy that has to demonstrate it and explain it. So. And I've got Terry here today. Everyone else is already going home, and, and there's only so many opportunities we have to do this. But to show you that it works the other way around, I grab Terry. She fires. Okay, now you can see I, I weigh a little bit less than Terry, but she's still able to do it to me. <laughs> I weigh less. I'm not going to ask Terry how much she weighs, but I would venture to say I weigh about 50 or 60 pounds more. Okay, so you can see the difference. Now, do the uh, alternate spin. See it? Okay. 
and she grabs, I go underneath the fire. She goes underneath and fires. Okay, now what she was doing there was a variation. I rotate my elbows into me, if you will. Good. Now, that's palms up, palms out. This is like you're about to clap or do a, a prayer hand. Palms out. Now, what happens here is the arms lock in a linear horizontal position. You see how the arms are in position? I fire. It's like two poles that are directing forces straight into her. She grabs. I fire. If I step into her, it's an overwhelming force. I'll show you. Now, I'm actually holding him back. I don't want her to go flying in the air, bouncing on the ground. I'm giving her just enough force so that she can move and you can see it. But I can really put a lot more on here. She grabs, I'm in, I fire. Okay, you see how that worked. Again, here. Now come behind me with the camera. You see, see how I've got the arms guided and locked. Okay? Now you can do one or the other. See, I can go here, look. I got a little bit of both, and I step, and I fire. And what I'm showing you here is how you can take something that you know works and then begin to permeate it through variations and combinations into whole new concepts and whole new directions. Over here, see it? I fire. You see how powerful this is? Uh, she throws a punch at me. I'm here, I fire. So it's very quick, very effective. It's just uh, almost magical in how clean and effective it is. Now, uh, at any point in time as you do these, you can change the angles. So I grab, and she changes the angle, I'm in fire. And she can move me almost any direction she chooses to move me. Uh, at any point in time, I can, I can rotate and empty her energy to the ground. She grabs here, I'm going to empty her in your direction. I empty her down to the ground. And because I'm emptying her at such an accelerated rate, her body almost wants to spin into the air. I think that's a lot for a brief segment here. I'm not sure how much time we've been talking. Eight. Eight minutes. Well, that's, that's enough uh, right now to give you something to digest and to think about. These are explorations. And uh, over, over time, I'll share more of these esoteric concepts with you. They're only esoteric because nobody has ever taken the time to figure out a way to make them readily explainable. But uh, in our system, we spend a lot of thought and time and research into this. And I'll point you down the road the right way. You can trust me to do that, but you can't trust me to do everything if you don't do something for yourself. And always remember, while you're doing something for yourself, try to do something for others. Make the world a better place. Take care. Do well.